hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel so this video i'm going to give you guys super detailed tutorial on how you do box braids on your own hair not knotless box braids the regular box braids and i'm also going to show you guys how do you tuck your hair under the colored box braids in case you want a little bit of color a little bit of pop a little bit of sunshine in your life okay <laughs> yes you can do it on your own head and i'm going to show you guys how so just go ahead and tune in to see how you guys can tuck your hair and grip your hair this spot spray is not going to be perfect okay but the concept is it's going to be tight and it's going to look right okay <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys how you grip it and i'm going to show you guys how you tuck your hair under the colored hair if you guys are interested continue watching subscribe like comment and we about to just jump into this video okay so i'm using the color number 27 that is a honey blonde color and it is in the inches for the inch queen b i would insert a picture so you guys can see what i'm talking about okay so i like to grab a piece off this is going to be medium so a mix between small and medium size braid and then um like i said i'm just going to grab a piece that looks like it could be the size that i want and i am going to split it in half okay once i split that piece in half i am now going to grab half of one of the pieces and combine that with the other side okay that is going to make the hair uneven you're going to have one part is one third of the section and then other side would be two thirds of a section so there's going to be one side that is significantly smaller than the other side this is going to create that balance you need whenever you start to interlock the hair together okay so now it's time to interlock so i literally just wrap one piece of hair around the other piece of hair and pull them both into u shape pieces like pull them both halfway through and that is literally interlock you just literally lock one piece around the other piece doing this creates the knots this creates the box braids with the knots that interlock piece that's in the middle that is what the knot of the box braids consists of that is what grips everything that is the beginning that is yeah the beginning of the braid and the reason why you pull you make one side uneven and the other side uneven is because whenever you fold that one side if you fold it in half that is going to equal one piece the other side where it has the most hair the two-thirds size that is just going to be one piece and then the other piece okay so you have one side that literally folds in half but still equals one piece and then you have the other side that when you fold it in half those equal two pieces okay now it's time to grip so i use the shine and jam on the roots of course to get a sleeker finish and of course to be able to grip the roots better okay so now i'm going to take the two interlock pieces and figure out a way to start grip being the hair okay so i like to clip everything out the way so that no stray away hairs get in the way and i like to flip the hair behind me and grip my hair with one piece at a time okay so if we replay that i'm going to show you guys I'm going to grip and get a tight hold on my hair and then i'm going to split my hair with my index finger and that is how i'm going to split the hair into two pieces and then i'm going to start braiding now one key thing is to try to stay in the same spot as you started that way the the braiding hair doesn't slide out or slide back and yeah so it's in the same spot and it has a good grip game okay so yes yeah, so i'm just going to do that a few times in that spot like so okay so i made this piece a little too big for the braid size which is why you'll see like extra room in the back of you know the roots behind the braid but disregard that just look and focus on the front of the hair because that's what is important and that is you know the correct way to do it but like i said the parting size is a little too big for the braid but yes guys as you can see i'm just going to keep on braiding keep on braiding you're going to want to 
you know, keep the hair in that angle because you'll be able to see your hair peek out and you'll be able to fold your hair to the back. So as you guys can see, the, my hair pops up and then I just twist it to hide my hair and then I continue braiding and every time my hair pops up, I do the same thing. Now, you may have butterfingers like I have, but just keep on going. Try to keep the same momentum and just keep on moving forward, you guys. And then after a while, you're really going to get tired of braiding like that. So what you're going to do is you are going to flip the hair in front of you and then just continue with braiding. But instead of you hiding the hair behind you, you're going to keep the hair in front of you. But you guys will be able to see what I mean. So you're just going to keep on keeping that same momentum. Every time you see a piece of your hair, you're going to fold it behind you so that way you cannot see it. All right, guys, so here I am. I reached to a point where I can now start flipping the hair to the front and start continuing to braid. So as you guys can see, you see my hair a lot right here, but only because it is the underside of the braid, okay? You're going to see a lot of my hair. That is where I tuck my hair behind the braid. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to keep on going, keep on braiding. Um, try to make sure I fold the hair to where I can see my black hair in front of me so that way it just kind of shows me and helps me know that you know it's flipped the other way now as you guys can see i am focusing on it but the part that i'm focusing on would be the front of the braid so that is what i'm going to focus on not seeing my hair okay instead of you guys can see the underside but what i'm looking at as i'm braiding i see the overside the top so i'm just able to tuck that way that is the easiest way to tuck you guys doing your own hair i don't know any other method that's just what works for me but like i said this braid is not perfect i just want to show you guys how to do your own hair and if you want color how to hide your hair under color now if your hair is shorter than this then you guys won't even have to worry about your hair just reaching this far in length but my hair is super long, so you know how it goes. This will work easier for people with shorter hair because you will barely have to hide. But that is how it looks, you guys. Not too shabby, okay? Like I said, it's not perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. For that size braid, never do that big of a size of a part because it just doesn't match. It's not proportional, which is why you see a whole bunch of room in the back. But, you know... That is how it's supposed to look in the front. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are confused, ask me questions in the comments or rewind this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.